Hi, my name is Steve. My call sign is W0STV, and I'm a ham radio operator. I started in this uh, hobby about 10 years ago, and I started out with a 2 meter HT and a brick, and I've expanded over the years into this system. Um, I'm able to run ATV, HF, digital, um, still uh, at slow scan TV as well. Uh, vehicle is able to produce 2000 watts of AC power off of it and I can uh, actually be available for um, uh, Aries at any time that they require it. Um, I got ATV a set up is that there's a uh, monitor here, camera, and there's a transmitter in the back. I have a laptop here which runs APRS and uh, also packet. There's a 220, 2 meter 440 but I use them mainly for 220 and there's a two, uh, 150 watt brick back there. This is a uh, D700A running uh, APRS as well as packet through here. I've got a scanner. This is a Kenwood uh, 742. It's uh, 6 meters, 2 meters, 440. And on below is a Kenwood AT50 which is an HF uh, portable, semi-portable. I have GPS, CB, and I also have a uh, anten antenna one, tool. Four, four point three, it talks to you nine, too. Zero, low power. And uh, again, this is running off two batteries. I have a, the original battery, plus I have a backup in the back. And if you go up behind me over to over to my upper corner, you can see there's a bed or a, a bus pack that I transfer all the power onto. Um, I have a station, so I'd like to show you. Here and this is my base station equipment. Uh, again, most of it's the same as duplicated in the vehicle. I can run everything from ATV to uh, 160 meters all the way up to 1.2 gig. I have the capabilities with satellite on this one, CB, and digital on the other HF unit. Um, I've got a whole bank of amplifiers here running everywhere from uh, 2 meters, 220, 440, and then getting a bank of, uh, of uh, power amps with battery backups. And so if everything goes, if nothing, uh, if everything fails on the commercial power, I should be able to operate this for a couple hours. Um, the other side of me here, this is more or less an office operating disk. Uh, we got a microphone, so we can record all the information that's uh, being trans. I'll, I'll put on audio here. That's uh, so my ATV camera, lights. I can monitor the uh, input plus my transmission off this TV. And this is basically just an operational system for um, internet and. Um, Anything else I want digital, APRS, um, and I need to look at a monitor with. This system here is basically uh, a subsystem for scanning, also for faxing. I got a scanner here along with uh, eight, there's a TV receiver here that goes into this uh, laptop. And again, that's another separate system. Uh, should be able to, uh, again, I'm looking at input here, input visual here, and then this is more or less the the uh, mechanics of the operations, so it's over electronics, so this is all the working parts that uh, interface with over here. And that's pretty much it. Um, things came together slowly, one piece at a time, nothing was put together with uh, a plan in mind. You just kind of fell across things I thought would work and uh, bought them, and again we're setting up slowly but surely. I've got a 75-foot uh, uh, crank-up tower outside that will be wired into all this stuff. And we are underneath a, um, there's actually a stress, pre stress to ceiling up here. There's two vehicles parked above me right now. So again, this thing should stay pretty much put no matter what hits the house. So I'm thinking this is more or less a bomb shelter.